it's me zombie and today I am working in my shop on my T60 power armor. If you're working on a cosplay and that character is either really tall or has a bunch of bulky armor and you want to add some extra height, all you're going to need is some cheapo rain boots. I got these on Amazon, I think for like 20 bucks. Um, just make sure they have a little bit of a sole. So we're going to be uh, adding some height onto these, which is going to be real easy. So let's do it. What I've done is I've just traced my rain boot onto some EVA foam. Uh, this is probably a little bit more than half an inch or so. I have traced it four times onto EVA foam, and this is going to give me some extra height. So I am just adding this much. Um, you're welcome to add more if you want to. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my contact cement and I'm just going to brush the backside of the layers so I can stick them together like this. And you will do that with every layer. Make sure you're pretty generous with the contact cement and that you're going all the way to the edge of every piece of foam. And as you can see, I'm using like a bigger brush and my big can of contact cement just because it's faster and so I can get like a more even coat on everything. I'm also applying contact cement to the bottom of the boot just so it has something to stick to the foam to before we put some screws in. Okay, so now that all of my foam is stuck onto my boot, what I do after that is I screw in some screws diagonally you can kind of see the close up here. It doesn't look too pretty, but this is all gonna be covered by foam details anyway. And it helps keep your soles that you just made onto your rain boots. There's like no way that these things are coming off. Even after days of wear, they're still hold up really great. And after you screw in the tops of the soles to the foam, I take one screw and screw in one screw right here so it just catches the bottom of your sole. Make sure not to screw it in too much so it pops through where you're gonna be wearing it. And I add one in the back too. These are ready to be shaved down a bit on the side. And then I'm gonna start adding some details. Before I start adding details and everything to the boots that I want to add for the cosplay, I try them on first to see if there's any nails sticking through my feet or anything that I need to fix before I start adding all of the other delicate stuff on. And here they are on. They fit really well, they're really comfortable, and I don't feel any nails sticking through, so that's always a good thing. They totally don't feel like platforms, they just feel like I'm wearing normal boots. So they are very comfortable. Here are the beginnings of the shoe covers that I made for my boots. You can see all the layers under there and I just put this layer right over that one. I have been making details for my boots and adding on the layer that goes on outside of the platform that I made. You can see the foam right under there where I added it. Here's what we got so far. Uh, this back end is about to be completely covered up by uh, this weird detail piece. These boots took me a surprisingly long time to make. I don't know why, I just kept looking at them and there were more and more details that I didn't notice before, so just starting to finish them up now. Okay, now my boots are all done, so I'm gonna go ahead and try them on along with the shin pieces. Excuse my messy shop. It is uh, covered in foam. Okay, here we go, first big boot. Oh, and I put this one on the wrong foot, of course. There we go. These big wee bits are supposed to go on the outside. And I need to put the shins on first, dang it! Okay, here it is. Shin number one, shin number two. And here is boot number one. There we go. Put on the second boot. Man, these make me super tall. Well, taller than usual anyway. Okay. And here are the power armor legs and boots. Kind of see the closer details on these. They look pretty cool. Now all I have to do is plasti dip them. 
All I need to add is the little bar piece that goes across right here, and I am getting supplies for that very soon. I hope this tutorial helped you guys learn how to make your own giant cheap boots for cosplay. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments. I will answer as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching.